Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com and this is the Oh, wait, that's yeah. I'm hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com and now that the Apple event is over, I'm here to round it up for you and tell you all of the important things that happen at the event. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Let's kick things off with the new iPhone XS and XS Max. Okay, so these look pretty much exactly like the iPhone X did. However, there are some nice changes here. First off, the iPhone XS comes with a 5.8 inch OLED display with a higher resolution. And there's the iPhone XS Max with a massive 6.5 inch OLED display with even more pixels than ever before, so that's great. Plus the displays now support Dolby Digital and HDR10 for even better image quality. The new iPhones also have a better IP68 water and dust resistance, so that's nice. These do look like pretty great displays to be honest, I don't have doubts about that. Then there are the camera improvements. There's a 12 megapixel plus 12 megapixel dual rear camera with OIS here and a 7 megapixel front facing camera. So specs wise things look the same but there are improvements in the sensor size and the ISP. Plus there's a new smart HDR feature and an improved portrait mode so the photos on the XS should be better than the iPhone X. Oh and before I forget, the new iPhone XS and XS Max come with a new camera feature. You can, after taking a picture, adjust the depth of field from f1.4 to f16. And the background is changing with it. Uh, so, live focus? Whatever, it's still great to have that on the iPhone. Other than that, the new iPhone XS and XS Max come with the brand new 812 Bionic chipset from Apple which is built on the 7 nanometer process and I'm pretty sure it will beat the Snapdragon 855 in benchmarks. Anyway, the iPhones do look good and as Phil said on stage, It is the most beautiful iPhone we have ever made. I mean, come on, it's a new iPhone. We would definitely expect it to be the most advanced and the most beautiful looking one. But Apple still tells us in a bet you didn't see that coming way. The phones still have Face ID and while it's the same Face ID as before, it's said to be faster this time around. And it does it faster than ever before because the XS now has faster algorithms and runs on a faster version of the secure enclave. The iPhone XS and XS Max also have bigger batteries. But another exciting thing here is the dual SIM functionality. So the new iPhone XS and XS Max come with physical dual SIM slots in China. And for the rest of the world, they have an eSIM and another physical SIM. And thankfully, Airtel, Vodafone and Jio support it, so it should work in India as well. Anyway, the iPhone XS price starts at $999. It's priced at around 1 lakh rupees in India. The iPhone XS Max starts at $1099 and will cost around 1 lakh 10,000 in India. I know, that price is mind-boggling. Anyway, both the phones are available in three variants, 64GB, 256GB and 512GB. And orders for the phones will go live on September 14th and the phones will go on sale on September 21st. We also got a third iPhone, the more affordable one if you will, with some cost-cutting measures to bring the price down. It's called the iPhone XR and while I absolutely hate that name, the intro video definitely looks cool. The iPhone XR is made out of aluminium and comes in a bunch of colors, kind of like the iPhone 5C. The iPhone XR has an LCD display instead of the OLED display on the other iPhones and Apple gave it its own name. Cool, we had to give it its own cool new name. It's called the Liquid Retina Display. It's really just a name though, nothing more. Anyway, it's a 6.1 inch display with a resolution of 1792 by 828 pixels. This here is also a 120Hz touch sensing display with True Tone technology and a bunch of other stuff. Now it doesn't have 3D touch, but here again the team came up with something really smart. It has a new feature we call haptic touch. The iPhone XR also comes with Face ID, which is the same as the Face ID on the iPhone XS and XS Max. There's also the Apple 812 Bionic chip here, so it's pretty powerful for sure. The iPhone XR comes with a single 12 megapixel f1.8 rear camera which is the same as the main rear camera on the iPhone XS. We also got to see some sample shots here and these look pretty impressive. Plus it can take portrait mode photos too so that is cool. 
There's also a bigger battery here. Well, iPhone XR gives you up to an hour and a half more in your day than the iPhone 8 Plus. I would have preferred an MAH value, but you know, this is what we have for now. The iPhone XR prices start at $749. It will be priced at around 77,000 rupees in India and it's available in 64 GB, 128 GB and 256 GB variants. Orders for the iPhone XR will go live on October 19th and the phone will go on sale on October 26th. 77,000 rupees doesn't sound affordable to me, but apparently it's affordable enough. Let's move on. We also got the new Apple Watch Series 4 at the event and well, I think this line sums it up for me. And it's just beautiful. So the Series 4 comes with slimmer bezels all around and the displays are now over 30% larger than before. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? There are also new dynamic watch faces which look super cool and the digital crown now has haptic feedback in it. Also, the speaker is now 50% louder on the Apple Watch. You, you just won't believe the sound you get out of such a small device. The watch also comes with the brand new S4 silicon in package which has a new processor and GPU inside it for up to two times faster performance. Coming to more exciting and intriguing features, there's now fall detection on the Apple Watch Series 4. It can detect falls, trips and slips and even prompts you to call emergency services when it detects fall. If the watch senses you are mobile for one minute, it will start the call automatically. What's even more impressive is the fact that the Apple Watch can now take electrocardiograms or ECG. I mean, that's a pretty awesome feature to have on a watch, right? The Series 4 Apple Watch starts at $399 for the GPS variant and $499 for the GPS plus LTE variant. There's no word on when exactly the Series 4 Apple Watch will come to India, but it goes on sale in the US and a few other countries from September 21st. Apart from the iPhones and the Apple Watch, Apple also announced new updates for the HomePod and tvOS. Plus macOS Mojave's launch date was also announced and you'll be able to get it on September 24th. And for iOS users, iOS 12 is coming on September 17th. While all that is great, we still have no word on air power, the wireless charging mat Apple announced last year. Well, that was our roundup of the Apple event and I'm definitely hyped for all of the new stuff that's coming our way. But what do you think? Are you excited about the new iPhone and the new Apple Watch? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.